Welcome to our monkey challenge and we are going to do this in a little bit different of a format. Now some of you have already seen this guy. He's been on YouTube for a couple years now. And what I wanted to do is go through a lot of the comments and the questions that pop up, pop up a lot. We're going to kind of break it down a little bit different where we're going to build in the first video. And it's almost going to be tips as we go through. So we're going to focus on really three different areas that I get the most amount of questions on. Uh, the first one would be we're going to go through our warp effects. So we're going to go through all of those. We're going to talk about expanding. We're going to talk about expanding appearance. The next thing we're going to do is going to be all about aligning. So we're going to align to the selection. We're going to align to the artboard. And we're going to be also aligning groups. And then the other one, the heavy hitter, the one I get the most amount of questions on is Pathfinder. So we're going to go through those just with this little guy. You are going to notice that it is going to take a different approach than most of the other videos because we are building just with shapes. So we're not doing anything with our normal brushes and things like that. So if, you, if you're on YouTube, we are going to be following directly along. All of this stuff is basically already built. So if you open up our resource folder, I have multiple anchor point guides and we're gonna go step by step by step for every single one and we're gonna have some fun. So I am gonna be, I don't need my swatches. So if you are on YouTube, just click the little link, it'll go back. It, I will send you by email the link to our resource folder and then you can download whatever tutorial resource that you need. So if you want the brushes, the any of the t other tutorials are on there, as well as all of our challenge resources that is all on our folder. So let's have some fun. I'm ready. I'm done yapping. So here we go. First thing is, I let's just kind of go over what we're looking at. And you're going to also notice that all you have to do in our resource folder is double click the Illustrator document and it'll pop up and everything will be basically ready to go for you. You might not have the done and done you'll have all of the anchor point guides as well as the swatches. So I have basically everything locked out and I'm only looking at one of my anchor point guides. So what I want to do as we are building this is I want to really just structure so we're building in different layers. So as we keep adding on effects and we keep doing different things, everything is nice and organized for us. So I'm just going to double click that. Let's just call this one shapes for right now. I'm going to click it. So notice that it's highlighted blue. Also notice that the nice little triangle in that right hand side is on that layer. So I am ready to start building. So we are going to be using some, well, we are using very little tools, especially with this one. So we are basically using our circle tool and that's about it. <laughs> we're going to do a little bit of the line tool. So most of it's circles. So we're going to have some easy, easy times. So just select the ellipse tool first. Now, whenever I come over, you're going to notice that little pop-up or your preferences. If you want show tool tips on, so especially if you're brand new, these will definitely help out, especially if you just don't know what everything is called. Just turn those on. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I can do. If you are on the uh, challenge page, all of these preferences that we're actually going through right now, they're directly under this video, and you can just basically match it up on yours. So I do have my anchors as big as they can. And then I have my handles as big as they can, and I just want those a little bit different. All right, that's it. Smart guides, I do have some things. I think everything is turned on. I have mine very, very low. If you want yours to be hot pink, no problem. If you notice things are bouncing on you and it's highly annoying, then you do not need those on. All right, so I do have my smart guides turned on. All right, well, let's get started. So I have my circle. Now, just in case this is the first time with the ellipse tool, I'm clicking and dragging. And then I can get some different circles. So notice that I'm, I'm not holding anything down with my, my left hand, so I'm not doing anything yet. If I want to color them, we are not going to be coloring in them, but some different things as we are selecting. If they are colored, you're going to be able to notice I can go right in the middle here, and then I can move them. If I just have a stroke and I try and move them, it's not going to do the same thing. So if I am trying to just move these, I need to be on the stroke as I go through that. Now notice I am on the black arrow. Black arrow is V. And then I can just click delete. Notice that I can't select my anchor point guides. So those are all nice and locked out for you. All right, so I have no fill. So next little thing I just want to point out is if I hold down shift and drag, it'll stay in proportion. 
Now let's just say some of you have already done this. You've clicked and this this thing just keeps popping up on you. If I just click, I'm gonna get this pop-up. If I click hold and then drag, now I can I can actually just do my own. So again, black arrow, I'm just showing you what these tools are, nice and slow. Now the one we're gonna be using the most today is I'm just gonna hover right on my little center. I'm gonna hold down shift, I'm gonna hold down alt and or option, and then I'm just gonna drag it out. You're gonna notice that it, the shift maintains our constraints, nice and proportional. And then that alt is gonna basically scale it from that center part, pretty easy. So all we're gonna do is go right under the middle. I'm gonna hold down shift and alt, and I'm just gonna drag that up, just match it up. Let's do that guy. Now I'm gonna click on V. Now you might be able to see this. If I hold down Alt, let's do. We're gonna do a couple different copying options. So if this is your very very first tutorial, let's give you some options. If I hold down Alt, you might be able to see our nice little arrow. So if I just click and drag, I can just drag it over. So that would be option one. Option number two. I can just do edit copy, edit paste. So if I go edit copy, control C, paste would be V. Now typically when I, we don't use, I don't use V as much and you might be able to see that my smart guides are trying to connect those by the way. If yours is a brighter color, it's gonna be a lot more obvious with those lines going across. I don't have hot pink turned on cause it gets highly annoying for you guys trying to watch it on the video. So other version that I use quite frequently and I want you to just get in the, of the habit of is I'm going to do edit copy and then I do paste in front. So it looks like nothing happened. I can just use my arrow keys too and I can just drag that guy over. Pretty easy. All right, let's go right in the middle here. I'm gonna, again, hold down Shift, Alt, and I'm just looking to align it on these center parts. Now I'm gonna click on V. Now I'm gonna hold down Alt, and I'm just gonna drag it out, so notice it's scaling from the middle. And just line that up. Look at how easy this is. All right, now if you guys wanna do pen tool, knock your socks off, this is just the line tool. And I'm just gonna do two little lines over there. Now, if you want some practice, so notice that I'm dragging from where it says the path, I have to be on it. You can actually see the, the cursor. It's gonna have my little transform. I'm gonna hold down Alt, and then I'm just gonna drag that guy over. I don't want you to fall in love with this one. We're basically gonna delete it in the next step. So when we start getting more complicated with our shapes, that is basically what we're gonna do. So what I want you guys to do, step one, we are all done. Look how easy that was. So let's hide that one. I wanna hide, oh, let's hide that one for right now. So that is where we're gonna go on to the next video. Before we get there, I just wanna get some of my other little basic shapes down. So I'm gonna create a new layer And I am just gonna plop it up here. I'm gonna say features. And I just want these to be on separate layers just so they don't bounce, especially when we move into Pathfinder in the next couple videos. I just want these to be a little bit more separated. Okay, we have already done any pretty much most of this stuff. Warping is gonna be the hard one. This one is gonna be, you're gonna seem, it's gonna seem silly that we're doing this. All I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna do one, there's my eyeball, there is my nose, and there is my mouth. And again, every single time I do this, notice I'm going in the middle, and then I'm holding down shift, and I'm holding down alt, and then I'm clicking and dragging out. So if it gives you this little pop-up, just remember that if I click, that pop-up appears. So if I click and hold, nothing happens until I drag it out. All right, file, save. Let's do that, let's bring that on back. So right now, that is what we should be looking at. Congratulations, this video is done. Look how easy this was. 
So what we're going to be actually doing in the next video is we're going to start to add on and apply all of the warping effects. So underneath the next video, especially on the, the challenge page, you're going to notice that we have all of the effects, especially with warping. Those are already done, and we're going to just walk you through step by step by step. So just jump on over to the next video, and we will walk you through all of our warping.